Hi guys, so today I want to talk to you about the practical exam for thermal curling. Um, I'm going to read the instructions to you that you'll be given by the State Board Proctor and they're going to give you 10 minutes from start to finish to complete this section. So what you will hear from the proctor is you will perform thermal curling. You will form two curls on the top of the head and two curls on one side. A complete curl must be formed from base to end. You will be expected to follow all client safety, protection, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. They will repeat the instructions for you and then they will say, you may begin. At this point in the exam, you should already have your mannequin draped as well as on your mannequin stand. So you want to make sure in draping that you place a neck strip because at this point in the exam, you're only doing the thermal section as well as the hair cutting section. So you can drape for a dry service. There's no need to drape for a chemical service because you want to have as much room as possible around the mannequin so the hair isn't bulky while you're working. And I'm just using a child size cape, making sure that the cape is not touching the client. That's definitely something that they will be looking for. That would be infection control. All right, so I'm going to use my rat tail comb and just section uh, some hair that I want to use because it told me that I needed to do two curls on top and two curls on one side. So since this side is kind of the heavy side and the hair is already um, falling in this direction, I wanna use this side. And I'm just gonna carve out enough hair to place a nice base. It doesn't need to be a very large section. And what I'm gonna do with the rest of the hair, I'm just going to pull it out of my way, just clip it out of the way. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty or anything. They're, they're really looking for your thermal section. So I had two clips in my bag and I only had to use one, so I just have an extra one. All right, so for this, thermal curling section. This is about the amount of hair that I have out. And if that's one curl, that's two curls. And then I can do two right here on the top. So it's a little bit of extra hair and I'm just going to place that back there. If I feel like I have too much hair because I only want to do what they're asking me. I only want to do four curls, two on the top and two on one side. Now I already have my curling iron heated and before I place the curling iron in the client's hair, I wanna make sure I test it. So I'm gonna do my first subsection for my very first curl. Now, the instruction said that I only had to do a curl from base to end. It didn't say if I had to do an on-base curl, an off-base curl, a spiral curl. So that is your choice. You can do whatever type of curl that you want as long as there is a curl from root from base to end. Now, this is the first time I'm putting the curling iron in the client's hair. So I wanna make sure I have a test strip of some, some type. This is just an end wrap that I'm using for my test strip. I wanna wrap it all the way around to make sure that my test strip is not brown. It's still 
white. If it were to turn brown, that means I need to adjust the temperature on my curling iron because it's too hot to put in my client's hair. Immediately, when I'm done with this, I want to put it in my bag that's labeled trash. I don't want to put anything that I have used back on my station. So I'm going to put it right there in my trash bag. I'm going to curl my first subsection. And I want to make sure that I am going from roots, from the base area all the way to the end. And I'm going to use my click, click, click method to make sure I'm clicking the ends all the way through because I want to make sure I have a full curl when I'm done. I need two curls on the side and I need one curl on top. So I'm going to use this first subsection to make a spiral curl. Because her hair is long and if I didn't do a spiral curl, it would just flop. Now notice that when I, after I'm done clicking, I want to make sure that I put my comb between the thermal curling iron and the client's hair, head or scalp to make sure that there is no heat sensation coming from the curling iron. And I just want to click, click, click all the way out. Now I have a curl that's formed from the base all the way to the end. Now that's my first one. I need to do one more on the side and I need to do two more on the top. So let's go ahead and do the next subsection. So I want to show you this time how to do just an on base curl. Even if the hair is long, it does not have to be a spiral curl. So I'm going to start right at my base and I'm going to use the same method to click, 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 click all the way until I get the ends clicked all the way in. Now for the state board exam in North Carolina, you do not have to use clips to pin the curl. Uh, you can use a clip if you would like when the examiner comes over to check your curls to make sure that it is a curl from base to ends, they are going to take the clip out and they'll do their inspection at that time. Um, if you feel more comfortable using a clip, you can. Um, however, you do not have to use a clip unless you absolutely choose to. So now that my whole curl is formed, Again, I'm going to place the comb between the heated thermal curling iron and the client's scalp to protect her. I want to use safety at all times. And so that's more of an on base curl, not so much a spiral. But because her hair is so long, it's going to fall naturally anyway. So next thing I want to do is I want to form two curls on the top of her head. I'm keeping in mind the diameter of my thermal curling iron and the length of the subsections. So what they're going to check for uh, when they come around after you have completed all four of your curls is that they want to make sure um, that all of your supplies are labeled in English. They want to make sure that they are all clean. They want to make sure that you did test the temperature on the curling iron, which we did at the very beginning. Now, because it is an electric curling iron, you do not have to test the temperature every time because the temperature of the curling iron is not going to change. Because it's electric, once you turn it on and you set the dial, it's going to keep that even temperature throughout the duration of your service unless you change the temperature. Now, if you choose to adjust the temperature, 
then you will need to check again just to make sure that it's not too hot for your client's hair because it will burn the client's hair. Uh, another thing they want to check is to make sure that the subsections are not too big for the diameter of the tool that you're using. So just make sure you remember to subsection. Um, you do get 10 minutes for this section, so you 10 minutes is plenty of time to get this section done. If you feel like you need to you have too much hair after you have subdivided what you want to use for your fur for curls it's okay to just take more hair and and just put it out of your way um, they don't take any points off for anything like that uh, another thing they want to make sure is you're demonstrating safety this would be safety I'm making sure that my comb is the barrier between the curl and iron and the client's scalp because we want to make sure she has a pleasant service. And so that would be my curl for the top. And I need to complete one more curl. So as I'm doing my last curl, a couple more things that State Board will be looking for when you're doing your thermal curling section is they're going to want to check the final appearance of your curl. So let's just say I click, 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 I click, 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 I click, 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 I go through, and that's what I end up with. If this is what you were going to present to State Board for your final curl, you would not get points for this because there is no curl from base to end. That's just another straight piece of hair. It does not look like the other curls that were formed. So just make sure you practice enough to feel comfortable with using the curling iron and forming a curl from base to end. They want to make sure also that you maintain your draping throughout this service. So it's state board, things happen, you're nervous, but if your cape falls off or if your neck strip falls off, it's okay. Just sanitize it. First, you want to pick it up off the floor. You want to wipe it down with your disinfectant and you want to put it back on the client. You want to sanitize your hands with your hand sanitizer and then you want to go back to work. Things are going to happen. What they're looking for is how you handle the situation that happens. So those type of things will happen. Make sure you definitely, definitely have all three of your trash bags labeled um, items to be disinfected, soiled items, and trash. You need three separate bags for North Carolina State Board. And immediately when you're done with a section or when you're done with a um, item, make sure you put it in the proper bag immediately. Anything that you have used, do not put it back on your station. You will definitely get points off for that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, look for us at the Business of Cosmetology on Facebook, Instagram, as well as YouTube. Um, reach out for any other questions. Comment below if you know there's another video or another type of video that you're interested in seeing and we'll make sure we make that happen for you. And last thing I always want you to remember is work that hair. Don't let it work you.